in today's Poké News, we've got uh, this interesting story. It looks like Shia LaBeouf, but I'm not too sure that's Shia LaBeouf. I can't confirm or deny this is Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> you know? Um, I'm seeing the picture, but you guys can't see it quite yet. Uh, it'll show up here in just a second. We can read it though, I guess. A man who beat his neighbor to death with a bag filled with Pokemon cards has been jailed for life. It does look like Shia LaBeouf. Look at this guy, dude. Totally Shia LaBeouf. Is there a whole like article on it? I'll try to back the uh backlog the article here. Let's see if we can get it. Is there another picture? What's going on? Oh, it's just a bunch of Pokemon cards. Yeah. So this dude uh, apparently just fucking savagely beat his neighbor down with a fucking bag of full of Pokemon cards. Um, man jailed after uh, jailed for life after beating his neighbor to death with a bag filled of Pokemon cards and a piece of wood. Last year, August second, thirty-one uh, year old Andrew Hang Hang. Hagoon. Put it up here so y'all can see it. Look at that. Yeah. Was seen attacking his neighbor, Simon Wilkinson. That's a normal last name. Uh, in front of <laughs> the others of his sheriff's uh, Sheffield community after the uh, an altercation. According to ITV, Hugh suffers from a psychotic disorder, and instead of taking his medication... He was using cannabis. Okay, fucking blame cannabis again. Uh, Hugh was reportedly angry that he had been insulted by Wilkinson and confronted him with his Pokemon cards and a fucking stick inside. After demanding his neighbor, come out and find me like a man, Hugh hit him with numerous times with a bag filled with tens of Pokemon cards. Jesus. Leaving the victim lifeless, prosecutor Laura Marshall said, Jesus fucking Christ. Later, he would admit that to the officers that he got carried away during the attack and murdered him in cold blood. He also claimed that he tried to end his life in an act of mercy because he had already seriously injured Wilkinson by hitting him with the bat. <laughs> Jesus! Fuck. He's like, I already went too far. Might as well bust his dome open. Uh, Judge Sarah Wright sentenced him to life in prison a minimum of 17 years and recommended that he be remitted to a uh, wrapped in secure hospital. Judge also warned about self-medicating with marijuana and alcohol. Hmm. Uh, this uh, case is a stark reminder of dangerous as of alcohol and cannabis use, particularly with someone with a complex mental health history as yours, she said. This is hardly the first time crime involving Pokemon cards. What's this link lead to? Uh, but <laughs> likely the first uh, they've used as a murder weapon. Like, uh, last year, the man was killed uh, by, by police after allegedly stealing Pokemon call cards from a and pizza from a Target in Florida. All right, well, Bonnie and Clyde of Pokemon. Hell that I will. Yeah, walk into. yeah. You told me somebody killed a guy. Like, dude, he killed him in cold blood with his Ninja, fucking Pokemon card. Like Mister. <laughs> Mister. Top Hat guy from James Bond with a. Pokemon card. Well, oh, what was his name? Like fucking. Oh no! We just like bashed his face in. Yeah. Dude, oh. yeah. Dude, Discord's fucking me up really bad. It's 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 kind of glitching you out, and it also just barely booted for me. Uh, got another one. Uh, we won't read the rest of these, but I will put this link into my prep for later. 
Because there's a multiple story thing right there. But what we will talk about is this one that I just got pulled up. Um, man killed by cops after Pokemon cards and pizza were stolen from a Florida Target. Man was shot dead after police were called to a Target to investigate an alleged thief involving Pokemon cards and pizza. On April 27th, around 7 p.m., Oce uh, Oceala uh, County deputies responded to an incident that Kizumi were 18-year-old Mikel, uh, Mikel or Michael Gomez, 19-year-old uh, Joseph Lowe, reportedly walked into the store and began stuffing items in a bag. According to the loss prevention officer, the men uh, specifically put pizzas and Pokemon cards in the bag. Fucking <laughs> badass. Yeah, everything that started with a P goes in the bag. Dude, yeah. Pepperoni, pizzas, fucking <laughs> Pokemon cards. God damn it. Are those peonies? Fucking throw them in. Um, once the two men were outside, the cops attempted to take down the, and resulted in shots being fired and the man being killed. Though it is unclear why. So low on the shit. And, okay, so yeah, that's that's a good debate, I guess. Is it worth killing somebody over fucking Pokemon cards and pizza? Fuck no. <laughs> After Gomez and Low, Low, I thought it was just Low, Lower, were transported to a hospital and charged, police revealed that two additional suspects had also been detained. One of those suspects ended up being shot and killed in the takedown. Oh. Uh, so, so far. Two people died? Yeah. Uh, so far, neither. I think so. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Alright, well, that's... That was Pokemon News. Oh, also, G. Uh, I know this doesn't work too well. And hopefully it doesn't, like, break the stream. But you gotta see this guy, right? He looks like fucking Shia LaBeouf. Is it going? It does kind of look like Shia LaBeouf. Got like it's Shia LaBeouf if he never got out of that hole. It's Shia LaBeouf if he got he was still damned. digging holes. It's Shia LaBeouf if he was still digging holes. Oh my God! Yeah, while he was still on holes. All right. Uh, next up, 